Morning everyone, so it's Saturday the 12th of December and I haven't long got up. My husband's just gone to work and I'm about to change the bed in and then I'm going to clean the bathroom and then pop downstairs to have some breakfast and a coffee. <laughs> so this is all the clean bedding ready to go on. I just kind of dropped it when I came in here so I'm about to put it on here but I'm just letting the mattress topper um, air a little bit and I sprayed it with like fabric um, spray so yeah, I'm about to do this, which I hate doing on my own, and then, yeah, I'm gonna clean the bathroom. Right, I think you focused. I'll put you on a time lapse because this is probably really boring and I take forever on my own. So I've just changed the bedding upstairs and cleaned the bathroom. So I've just come downstairs now. It's really warm in this house. So I had the heating on and changing the bed and that's not a good combination. Um, you can have a sneak peek of our flooring here, which I'm super happy with. And I love that our tiler um, used the same tiles then to create a skirting so we didn't have to worry about like a white skirting board. So the outfit I'm wearing is just a loungewear set from Mango, it was last year's, it's like a wool one and it's got like this really nice tie detail in it, it has worn a little bit but it's fine for around the house and it is really nice. So I'm about to make some breakfast, Alexa, turn on the Christmas tree. I love having the Christmas tree on in the mornings because it is a little dark outside but um yeah, I'm about to unload the dishwasher and make some breakfast. I just want to say these wine glasses from Ikea are honestly so good. Oh my god, please ignore the handprints. We had some wine last night, but they were only £1.50 each and they literally look like the really expensive ones that everyone seemed to be getting, which I'll insert a picture here. But how nice are these? I love the shape of them. Please ignore how dirty they are. Please ignore the noise of my washing machine in the background. It's like super loud. We're not getting a new one until we redo the kitchen. Um, can you see everything there? There you go. So my current favourite coffee is this one from Starbucks, it's single origin Columbia coffee. And I give it a quick stir. And I leave that sit for a bit. I use my favourite syrup which is the, well I like the salted caramel but we're using the vanilla first by Skinny Syrup. So I'm just going to pour a bit of that in my cup. I normally pour my coffee in first, but I'm just going to pour some milk in. I like a really milky coffee, so don't judge me. While that's um, setting, I'm just going to go and make some porridge. So I buy the rolled oats, and I'm using one cup of these. And then a dash of cinnamon. My washing machine is going to go super loud now so I do apologise and then I'm just going to use our semi skimmed milk. While that's cooking over there I'm just going to press my coffee. So this press was brilliant, it was only £5 from Wilkinson's and um, the one we liked was about £15 in John Lewis and it's exactly the same. Just paying more for shopping at a bigger brand so. I'm 
I'm going to take some chia seeds. And because it's Saturday, my favourite treat is put a spoonful of Nutella in my porridge. And there you have it. My Nutella porridge, which honestly looks awful, but it tastes amazing. And my very, very milky coffee, which probably looks awful. Okay, it tastes really good. It's just super milky. Now I've drunk some, I'll add more coffee to it. Now I'm going to chill and watch some... catch up on some vlogs I'm just gonna look at who I'm subscribed to and who's got a new one I love Peyton Sarton she's um, a Texan blogger who lives in LA so I'm just gonna pop that on the TV so I just wanted to say I'm just gonna eat some breakfast and chill out watching some vlogs and then I'll come back on here a bit later oh my god my skin looks awful I haven't washed it yet so yeah, I'll um, see you in a bit. Right, I'm back. So I've enjoyed my breakfast and watched Peyton's vlog and the postman just turned up so I thought I'd show you some bits that have arrived. So I treated myself to a new phone. So currently I've got the iPhone 8 Plus, which is this one. And I've had this for about three years. Um, I bought it in Florida back in 2017. And I really fancied, um, a new phone. Normally I don't just go out and buy a phone on a whim. The battery on this one is going and it um, seems to be just really slow lately so I thought I'll just upgrade. So I decided to get the iPhone 12 Pro in space grey is it or is it graphite I think this one's called. I wanted the Max one but when I actually held the Max one it was so much bigger than I expected I decided to go for this one and what's really handy which I didn't know is in the shop the guy said if you can comfortably hold an iPhone like this and touch both corners at the bottom comfortably it means it's the correct size for you and I could not do that with the max um, size without probably dropping it and the guy looked a bit worried so I thought I'll go for this one so I ordered this online with a company I'm still with O2 however I've had this now for all of, over a week I'd say but I haven't used it because my phone cases haven't arrived and I decided to order these phone cases from a company called I don't know how you pronounce that is it Berger so this is a Lithuanian based company, I've been tracking the delivery for ages and it still said they were in uh, Frankfurt in Germany but the postman just turned up and there they were. So I've never seen these before so these are going to be my first impressions with you. So it's in a bubble poly bag and they are in these really really beautiful velvet cases. So so far my impressions are quite good so I've ordered two because they were buy one get one free and they're the extra tough cases oh wow so this is the one called northern lights so up close it's just sorry it's really glossy so it's reflecting but how pretty is that oh my god you can see my tv that is so nice They seem really good quality as well. They're really like solid. And then the other one I ordered was, I think it's toasted chestnut. <gasps> oh my God, this one's my favourite. Look at that. Oh my God, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's so nice. And on the edging, it's got it all around the edge as well. So I'm going to pop this one in here. Oh my God, that looks so nice. Look how sleek it looks a heck of a weight on the new phone that's one thing I would say compared to that that's so heavy I'm going to try the other case on it now as well just to show you they're really easy to put in and out they really protect the screen as well I don't know if you can see my screen but it goes right up to this edge that one is so nice on as well my God, I'm really impressed with the quality of these. I got the feeling 
they are going to protect my phone within an inch of its life which is very handy because we all know how easy iPhones are to break. I've also got a tempered glass screen protector on my phone. Um, this is by the brand Spigen. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's S-P-I-G-E-N and I normally get them off Amazon. They're normally about 10 to £15 pound for a pack of two but I always order two at a time so I've always got a backup. Hence why I've gone for two of these and oh my god how have I turned the torch on? Oh my god, why can't I turn my torch off? There you go. I'm so not used to having no home button because I've obviously gone from the one with the home button to this one. So I need to swap my SIM card over now from my old phone to my new one and then I can start using this today. I'm so happy with these. So these are them on the screen, just so you can see. And again, the brand is called, I think it's Berger and this is the packaging it comes in so it's like these really nice velvet pouches with the little toggles which is really handy um i think i'm gonna put the toasted chestnut one on because i feel like it's quite like autumnal and we are well and truly into winter here in the uk it's been so cold this week and um we've definitely noticed how much um the temperature has dropped so yeah i think i'm gonna put this one on there you go I love the look of it, it's so shiny and soft as well and it has got the logo on it but I like how it's quite understated in the same kind of colour text and then on this one they've done it in white so you can barely see it so I quite like that because it's quite subtle branding but super happy with these and as far as looks and first impressions go I would 100% recommend them so then hopefully mum if you're watching this stop watching because my mum's birthday present has just arrived well one of so I'm back I'm sitting down a bit lower now sorry my knees are hurting oh my god you'd swear I'm like 90 years old and I'm only 30 next year so it's my mum's birthday not long after Christmas and it's actually my husband's birthday just before Christmas so it's a bit of an expensive month but um this year I decided to get my mum a really nice gift set from Liz Earl because she's been using the Liz Earl skincare brand again and um she she does use it but she keeps like switching in between so i'm gonna open this even though it's packaged nice i'm gonna put it in a gift hamper i think so i don't mind opening it to show you so this is much easier to show you so i've opened the package and it says album bay isle of white liz earl and it just says uh if it focuses there's nothing we love more than helping you to feel good in your skin, so whether you're trying something new or stocking up on trusted favourites, we hope you enjoy your order. Um, we'd love to help land a hand. Oh, I'm not reading it all. You get the gist. But So basically, this set was around £70, but it was actually on offer for £49. And um, it comes with a 200ml cleanse and polish, which is the ultimate hot cloth cleanser, amazing stuff. And it comes with... Um, two muslin cloths which are to use with this then you've got the famous instant boost skin tonic which is so refreshing on the skin and if you watch my videos you'll know that this is all my skincare as well and then I chose the skin repair light for my mum because she's got um, kind of oily combination skin so I think this is always a good cream to go for when you're unsure of which one's the best one that's the one I use as well and then I bought this kit because I have bought her a facial roller and I thought it'd be nice for to use with the face serum and then you get the I don't know if that'll focus come on uh, so anyway it's the super skin concentrate for night I've got the big bottle of this because it's quite pricey I didn't want to buy it for her and then she didn't like it so this is a great way of trying it it's a 10 mil one so it's enough to use with a facial roller and if she likes it then I know for the future so the face serum I've never used before this is pomegranate flower Persian silk tree and rhubarb extracts um, it says this intensive face cream uh, with firming pomegranate flower extract visibly lifts and firms skin while reducing the appearance of fine line and wrinkles hopefully she won't be offended with that and then in here um, once you spend over I think 50 pound which it was oh no must be over 45 because this was only 49 you've got a free uh, cleanse and polish and cleanser cloth so this is just a mini one so it's 30 mil and it's really great for traveling so she'll probably be happy with that 
and then a little travel pouch which is so handy because I use these on holidays and in my like bag for the um, muslin cloth so it doesn't soak everything because it's all um, waterproof and then I'm just gonna hide that because that's my dress but yeah I'm gonna pop this into like a nice hamper basket so yeah I'm gonna pack it all in a really nice hamper basket with a facial roller and then I think that'll be a really nice birthday gift because normally I go her vouchers or give him money towards something like jewelry but I thought for a change it's nice to surprise someone with some pamper stuff especially after the year we've had and considering we spend a lot of time at home these days it's nice so she can have a little pamper session um so yeah i'm um gonna carry on wrapping some presents i've got most of them ready in the background here which i did last weekend i've just got one or two more gifts that i need to wrap and then i just need to order some last bits for my husband's birthday because he turns 30 and um yeah honestly we really wanted to be on holiday for it that was always what he wanted for his birthday but unfortunately with covid I know people are going away but I, I don't know I just don't know how I feel about it and obviously then coming back and then quarantining and then not being able to see friends and family not that I've seen much anyway and it's just all a bit up in the air and I think it's best we just wait until it's a bit safer so yeah that's our current situation so yeah I'm gonna crack on with wrapping these I can put you on a time lapse I've also got a frame to make for my um niece that was born this year because I made her sister one like three years ago when she was born so I want to do a matching one um so I'll show you what I do with them because I actually sell them so if you're interested you can just comment below if you wanted one I don't really advertise it anymore um I just do them for friends and family so if you did want one though I'm more than happy to make them I do have an Instagram account or did I close it if I do I'll leave it on the screen here for you to look at it was called Kiki Alexandra Designs um yeah my washing's on I've got another load upstairs so yeah I'm feeling organized so oh I forgot about my coffee I'm gonna go drink my coffee and then I'm going to start wrapping I think and then later on I need to pop out I want to get um like a faux fur sheepskin rug for the hallway because I know it sounds awful saying I'm going to cover the new tiles with um, a little rug but we just want up one at the base of the stairs because sometimes we have dropped stuff from the top of the stairs like when I'm cleaning a can of like debt or spray is rolled down and if anything falls at least it will land on that um, like rug and also because it like when we're walking down the stairs that bottom bit is always where there's pressure going to be on the floor so I feel like a rug would be nicer just to keep everything okay and worst case scenario if any of my china ornaments fall off my shelf they'll fall on the rug and not smash my tiles I'm also thinking of popping to Wix today and buying a spare pack of those tiles before they sell out. I'll leave them linked below. They're called Central Park and I think they're about £20-£25 for a pack of 10 So I think it's always handy to have a spare pack. I did buy over, but um, the only reason why we don't have spare ones is because I entirely use them as a skirting board, which I, I absolutely love. So just in case we smash them or if we ever sold this house... Um, we'd be able to pass on some spare tiles for the people that would move in unless they wanted to rip them out. So yeah, the tiler was amazing. He's actually currently doing us a kitchen plan um, just to get some options. We're just getting some options from a few different people just to see kind of different costs and what they come up with. Um, yeah, so that's our plan for next year. There's nothing wrong with the kitchen here. It's perfectly functional. It's just a little bit dated. And I think because we've done like the living room, dining room and the hallway now, and like the upstairs bedrooms well two out of the three I think the kitchen kind of lets it down a little bit now and it just needs to flow a bit better so we just want kind of like a pewter pale grey black counters just keep it quite plain and simple plain flooring I, I am really tempted to get them pattern tiles for the kitchen flooring but I don't know if they'll be too much I was worried they were going to make the hallway look super small but um I'm actually quite impressed with how big it looks. I promise I will do a hallway like reveal video coming soon because I've got all the footage from like March up until now um, of like every stage of the plastering and oh god I'm just so glad it's done. The last bits now we've got left to do is put up my arch mirror at the top of the stairs which is the black one. I'll insert a picture here. I bought it from the range in the white um, and then spray painted it black and then I really want a console table at the top of the stairs but a narrow one so I think I'm going to get like um, similar to the oak beam here but they can you can get them wider and they come with like peg legs is that what they're called no hairpin legs hairpin legs so I think that would look really nice and I just want the arch mirror 
the shelf and then I'll put like a lovely beautiful vase on it with some like foliage coming out of it I fancy sort of like a mix of like um baby's breath and bunny's tails and eucalyptus all full obviously because I'll just kill it and then maybe some coffee table books and an ornament and that'll just be like a really nice feature when you walk at the top of the stairs um Oh, and then in the new year we need to get a carpenter in to do our doors because unfortunately everyone's just too busy now to fit us in before Christmas. And last thing, oh, a painter will come back to paint the radiator in the hall and the new skirting board that went in upstairs on the landing because it's not glossed and it looks really boring <laughs> again even though not, I, I hate gloss and if we ever moved house and um, built our own house or whatever my skirtings and like architraves would be like matte or a different color like gray or black because I really don't like shiny white gloss but we chose to do white gloss because it's everywhere in these two rooms anyway and we didn't change these so I just felt like it just needed to be the same so yeah that's enough of me rambling on I'm gonna crack on with some presents and I will see you soon So I've just had some lunch, I just had a quick sandwich and some crisps and now I'm going to go and get ready to pop out, I've got a long list to do. So yeah, I'll probably take you with me and hopefully I'll be better at blogging uh, or vlogging, whatever you want to call it, than last week. So currently look like this, so I'm still in my loungewear and my Ugg slippers which are totally ruined by the way, look at the state of those. About a month after I had them I completely spilt a whole cup of milk and landed on them so I chucked them in the wash and yeah don't do it. Ah, so so far I am loving my new phone. This is it so far and I love this new case. It's really strong and secure so yeah, getting used to using um, no home button, it's pretty easy once you've got used to it. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get ready and I will be back when I'm ready. So I just got ready, I'm wearing my favourite jeans from Bieber, these are the Stevie jeans, they are the, honestly the best jeans I've ever had. Then I got my new cowboy boots on from the Zara special prices section, I'll leave a video linked below if you didn't watch that. And then I've got this really nice cream sweater on which I picked up in the M&S outlet last year for half the price I saw it in the Marks and Spencers the year before. And then I've got my Pandora ring on, my old Michael Kors watch, which I literally had for my 21st birthday. Bear in mind, I'm 30 next year, and I think I've worn it every single day. So I am looking at to invest in a watch. I'd really, really one day maybe love a Rolex or an Amiga watch or a Cartier. So I think it'd be such an investment because it'll probably be something I'll wear like every single day <laughs> forever. And then um, I'm thinking of putting my hat on in the background. I literally can't find my bauble hat anywhere, so this will have to do. So I just need a coat now, because it's too cold to wear just this on its own. So I'm going to grab a coat and let's go. My coat cupboard is literally in the other room because I got too many. How ridiculous is this? There's like one of me and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 coats. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for... I kind of want to do the teddy bear one but I don't know if that's like a bit much. Hmm. Maybe the pink one. Uh, that probably won't fit over my sleeves. I think I'll just stick with my camel one I wear pretty much every day. This is from H&M. Got my life and my cat on my bed. All curled up. Let me pop you down. If it decides to focus. So this is my outfit. Excuse the mess in the background. I got all this washing to put away and all that crap in the corner is... Ugh. So yeah, I think this looks really nice. 
all the nude shades and my phone case literally goes so nice so yeah I'm about to head out and I will speak to you when I'm in the first shop I guess although I probably won't speak I might just film because with these masks on you probably can't hear a word I'm saying anyway so yeah we'll see how it goes Hi everyone, sorry I'm only now picking up the camera. I'm currently sitting in Dunham Mill car park. I've just come from over Forest Park um, and it was absolutely mental. I think the Christmas shopping has commenced and um, I think there's a new announcement on Monday with the rules and restrictions. So I think people are making the most of this weekend. So as usual, I had my hands full, didn't pick up the camera. I was too scared to drop it. I really need like a personal assistant to come around with me with the camera. So I'm just going to pop into Dunham Mill. I'll try and vlog if it's not too busy, but I just want to find um, a faux fur rug for my hallway to go on top of my nice new tiles. Um, but yeah, it was just so crazy over there. I got everything I needed anyway, which is a bonus but I just didn't have hands free to vlog as well. everyone sorry I haven't spoken to you for a couple of hours probably now it's really dark as you can tell I'm just in the process of creating my wedding box at, um, which you can see behind me I started doing it and then realized I wasn't filming and I just thought I'd quickly show you my wedding dress I'll insert a picture of me here wearing it but this is my wedding dress so it's got like the beautiful pearls and Swarovskis and it's full lace all the way down the entire dress and it's all got like little sequins everywhere I don't know if you can see them sparkling and I had the back altered I designed it so it was like a deep V back like this and this is illusion tool so you can see my skin through it and I had all the covered buttons just to the end of the zip and oh my god i absolutely love my dress so yeah i'm about to fold it now so wish me luck so this is special acid free tissue paper for bridal dress packing so i'm just going to insert a few of these to protect it <laughs> She wasn't as bad as I thought so it's all done now and it's in this box as well as my prom dress which I designed and had made for me back in year 11 I believe of school um, so yeah they're both in there and I'm not going to keep them up the attic just in case there's damp not that we've had issues but that's what's known to happen so I think I'm going to just put them in the um, wardrobe where I showed you all my coats earlier um, there's like a shelf above it and there's just some bags to go to the charity shop up there so I think I'm going to move them and pop it up there because I think the shelf is the perfect width for this and then I'll feel happier that they're there and then eventually when we do up our bedroom I think I'm going to get one of them beds with like the ottoman storage so I think I'll pop one of that that would be perfect underneath there then so yeah sneak peek of my wedding dress from last year um, obviously it's not something I want to get rid of so um, yeah it's nice to keep and I know it's nice and safe in this box I think I ordered this box off Amazon and I think it was around £22 but it included the um, acid free paper which is really important to have because it doesn't transfer any dye onto the dress and it keeps it um, fresh so yeah all clean it was um, washed um, last year I didn't take it to the dry cleaners, I just took it to work because I used to work in a bridal um, company. Um, so yeah. So I am tired. It's my pile of wrapping in the background there. 
So I am about to choose some pictures to print off for my parents for Christmas for my wedding because I'm getting them printed for some frames for them. And then I am going to have some tea on my own and watch a film I think. It sounds like a perfect evening to be honest. My god I look like I literally have no neck with this. It's really hard to vlog on these because my natural hand is there but I'm cutting off my head. And if I do that I feel like I'm looking up at you. Like, how do you do this? I haven't got long enough arms to hold it far enough. Anyway, I've had a really successful day. I've delivered all my cards. Um, most of my presents are now ordered and wrapped. And yeah, super duper happy. So I'm feeling really organised. And I've got five days left in work before I break up for Christmas. So I'm super happy about that. And yeah, I'm really excited. And um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Hi hey guys. Oh my god, the lighting's awful right now. Oh my god, it looks so shiny. That's kind of better. So I've had some tea. I'm catching up on Lydia's vlogs in the background. And I've been making um, a new frame for my niece for Christmas. She's only 10 months old at Christmas time anyway. But I made one for her sister when she was born three years ago. So I'm just going to show you that now. I make these on the side just as fun. It's like a little frame. So it goes in the Ikea famous river box frames. So, um, yeah, my niece is Olive and she was born and there's her details on the side. And yeah, I'm just about to glue it all together. So I thought I'd film it on scene. <laughs> There's the frame. Oh my god, all you can see is my reflection on it, sorry. So basically, in the gap here, I'll be putting a little Polaroid picture of her when she was born. And um, then this will be for her then. And like the little beads in the bottom. I think it's super cute. So yeah, quite happy with that and I'll finish off the design tomorrow. I just need to put one of these tags in so I'll probably use maybe a brown one and cut it down I think. Um, yeah. I think one of them, I'll cut it down small. The letter's actually quite big, I should have moved it over a bit. But um, yeah, that is um, the frame and I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to wrap up this vlog now. I'm really um, sorry that it wasn't amazing. It's a bit disjointed. I really hope you enjoyed though. And um, yeah, I guess that's everything. Don't forget to hit the notification button and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. I'm really happy that I'm still over a thousand subscribers, but I really like to get to 2000 next. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see from me next. And I'll see you next week. Oh, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I'll leave my page here. So see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.